just heading to a Honda mechanic to get the chain fixed up and probably get them to change the oil. They can have a look over the bike, make sure it's safe, and, um, and then I'm on my way. Safety is my number one thing on the way home. This is yes. Daniel, he's going to help me fix the monkey bike, aren't you? Yeah, no worries. He's at Planet Honda. These guys are legends. I do long haul motorbike rides, I have a YouTube channel. But I mainly ride Harleys, but I just thought I'd do this one for charity. Oh, why not? Yeah, well, you know, pasties are so yesterday. <laughs> you know, and... So Honda, they don't have a chain, they don't come in till Mondays, but this guy's gonna take out a link, so then we can retighten it. So, so this is Andy, you own the shop, don't you? Yeah, unfortunately, the... yes. <laughs> unfortunately, he owns this Honda dealership, but he's also a real estate agent, the same as me, so he's helping me out. Um, and which is really cool and so they, they don't have any chains in stock but yeah they're just gonna take a couple of links out and get me on my way which is good so listen to this they told me they couldn't get a chain till monday andy's just worked out they're gonna have a brand new chain for me in 30 minutes see this is what happens when you deal with the owner this guy makes things happen i like this guy <laughs> and we, we're, we're sitting here in perth having coffee and eating and just talking real estate it's awesome and he's going to take me to, he's a car nut and he's going to show me some of his cars. But this is his, is this your daily drive? Yeah. Hey, I like the rims on it. Yeah, they're the best part of it, aren't they? They aftermarket ones? Yep. They're massive. What are they, 21s, 20s? 20s. 20s. And, and does this go good? Oh, sort of. Hope you're going to drive it hard, mate. No. <laughs> I'm not a driver. I'm a lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a driver. Oh, who, who signed the car? Um, my Scotty. We're going to his storage shed. This is where he keeps all his treasures. Yes. Are, are there any guns in here? No, I don't like guns. Do you? No, no, I'm, I'm packing heat at the moment. Are you? No, I'm not. Fucking hell, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, have you, what's a Beretta? Is that a gun? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've got a Beretta. So just while I'm getting them fixing my Honda, just checking it out, make sure it's safe. Andy, the owner's just gonna show me some of his stuff, which is nice of him. Don't tell anyone. Jesus Christ. Are these all your cars? Yeah, some of them, this is some. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. You must be one rich motherfucker. Holy shit. Can I have one? Yeah, anything you like. <laughs> I'm like a nice fella. I've known you for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> What'd you say? No, you seem like a nice fella. I've known you for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> Feel free. Oh, so are these guns and are these? They're not owned by them. They're just me. I'm a bit of a stalker, so I'll try and get them to get signed. And... Oh, dude. Black Sabbath, The Angels. Jimmy Barnes, Metallica. It just goes on and on. Dude, this is full on. Oh, so you buy this stuff from people? Yes. They're Jesus. hard to buy. So you're a collector? A mad collector. So you've got like OCD with yeah, collection? Yeah, serious issues. you got issues, <laughs> yeah. Most people I know have issues, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so I've I got a few of my own. Yeah. i got that. i got more issues than the Washington Post. <laughs> Yeah, so they're driver-worn helmets. Driver-worn helmets. So what, what sort of money would you pay for a driver-worn helmet? Two and a half to four grand. So two and a half to four grand per helmet. Three Peter Brocks. Oh, so they're going to be worth some money. They are. They're only worth what, what I want to sell them for, but aren't they? Dude, you've blown me away. That's why I said you best come down. There's more stuff in here. Yeah. Is there a light here? Yeah. Who owned that jacket? Jim Richards. Who's Jim Richards? Oh, he uh, won Bathurst with oh. a few people. He's won Bathurst quite a few times. So this guy's an Alice Cooper fan. Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> mate, mate, you. Oh, can I just say this? Well, you are a freak. I am. I'm a fucking headcase. <laughs> Look at the Alice Coopers. I actually like Alice Cooper as well. 
Are these some of his clothes? Yep. Now, do you sometimes come in here and, and wear them? Yeah, I walk around <laughs> really <laughs> with the makeup on. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. We're we're scaring me. So, what sort of money are we looking at here with, with the cars? I can probably oh, one fifty. One fifty just Each. for that one? Yeah, as long as they haven't won Bathurst. If they're one Bathurst, about six hundred. Okay, so none of these are one Bathurst. No, no, no. I'd oh. rather have four at one fifty than. I'm getting bored. Oh fuck! Here we go. There's Good more. And forks. <laughs> fuck! There's a fucking plane. Yeah. I don't like heights, so I don't go. <coughs> Holy shit! This is off the chain. That's a um. Pantera, D Tomaso. Holy shit! That's got to be rare as anything. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I've had this for years. That car. Aston V8 Vantage. Yep. Oh my god! So we got the the Lamborghini this Gallardo. This is my divorce toy. When I got divorced, this is what I bought. I thought I'm big, fat, and horrible. I'm never going to pull a chick, so I better buy one of those. Mate, there's a fucking aeroplane on your roof. Yeah, he's up there. And does that work? No, no, no. Okay. There's, there's motorbikes there. There's, there's, there's motorbikes everywhere. Hang on. Mate, there's got to be millions of dollars worth of stuff in here. Yeah, well, not sure. I never sit down and work it out. You don't, probably don't want to, do you? No, it's frightening, isn't it? So what's something like this worth? This, the, the, I mean, they, they, these are all concourse, these are all yeah. concourse condition, yeah? Yeah, they're all in good nick, yeah. Probably 150. Oh. Seems to be the magic number, doesn't it? About 150. Same with that, that. Oh, look at this, the old Peter Brock special. That's got to be worth some money, that there. Holy. Yeah, they're all, they're getting up there. Do you think I could take that across the ball? Yeah. I, 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 won't, I won't, I'll drive it sensibly. Yeah, do, bet you will. Last thing I want is to catch you with the God. I thought I'd seen a man go around this more. Jesus Christ. Mate, are, are you famous? No, not yet. Are you, are you, are you, a, are you a celebrity? No. If I Google your name, what's going to come up? Uh, jail. <laughs> <laughs> a man after my own heart. <laughs> Gee, look at the old Hondas. Yeah. Isn't real estate the greatest job in the world? Oh, the earning money? You can't get anything better. You know what, dumb bastards, you've only got a year 10 education as well. Yes. His year 10 education, I've got a year 10 education. And because we've worked hard in real estate, you get to do, I mean, I don't, I don't have anything like this, but in fact, I've got pretty much nothing. Yeah, you've got divorces. I, I, you've got I, divorces. I own a monkey bike. <laughs> yeah, well I actually, actually, that was donated. Whatever you do, don't fucking break your neck. I won't. Andy, you have blown me away. Good. And I don't get blown away easily. What a, what a nice man to come and show me all this stuff. Oh, just incredible. You got, is this a new chain? Yes. Yes, good man for that new chain. Uh, That's the bike. So, so is this a more, is this the same chain or a more heavy duty chain? Uh, more heavy duty. More heavy, oh, we've got a more heavy duty chain on it. So can I ask you a question? Is the bike safe? Is this a safe bike? Like are the nuts bolted on properly and everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll awesome. I'll check it all. Well it was till you bought it in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so reassuring. <laughs> hey, um, a dog a dog started chewing on this on this mud guard, like a dog was eating it. Yeah, but the dog started eating that. Um, is that covered under warranty? <laughs> how, how come it did that? How come that happened? How come that happened? You have to ask yourself. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to make the monkey fly. <laughs> so, so did, did you change the oil? Yes, I did. Oh, awesome. Was the oil black? Was the oil black? Uh, Let's have a look at the oil. You use a bit of oil, so there's not a lot of oil there. Yeah. Oh, so, so oh, I'd, okay. I'd been using a oh, bit of... Because yes, it only takes a litre, doesn't it? Yes. One litre, yeah, yeah okay. Thanks, man. You've done a great job. I really yeah. appreciate it. This is what came up from behind the chain cover. All this the other marks is made on the... Oh, so that was on the chain? Yeah, behind the chain. You can see how the oh. shape of the chain... <laughs> oh, so the mud, the mud's actually turned into the shape of the yeah. chain? Yeah, the model, see? Th uh -huh. This stuff should go to a museum to be framed. It's probably yeah. going to be worth a fortune one day. I could sell that on eBay. Yes. The bike's safe, good, awesome. Because I've been right. sitting... Because, you know, there's not... Did you just see here? Oh, 
don't go too fast. No, no, you see, I've got, I got nitrous on it. Oh. So yeah, so this does, I can do 200 kilometers an hour on it. Yeah, I when, it. When, when I hit the nitrous. I doubt it. Hey, I I'm not it. lying, mate, I would never lie. Where is it connected? No, I see you hey? lying. I said, Where is it connected? It's, it's got a- um, it's Remote a, connection. No, it's got a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's got a NOS Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've seen that. Don't ever touch yeah. that tap. Don't ever touch that tap. No. Because this thing takes off and out here, shoots a, a flame about 20 meters long. You cleaned the motor, was there a lot of mud wear on, yeah. the, on the cooling fins? Yeah, on the cooling fins. Well, what's the cooling fins? Hey? What does that do? Oh, that cools the engine. Oh, yeah. It's so made of aluminum. Was it bad to have uh, mud on the cooling fins? Yes, Cause yesterday, unless it's water cooled. Is it water cooled or oil cooled? No. It's air cooled. Air cooled. Because I've been put watering in it. I've been put water, I've been, I've been putting water in it. You mean right through water? I've been putting water in the windscreen uh, washer. Oh. I was thinking about buying a lightweight jacket yeah. that's going to protect me. Do you, do you know which one would... So, obviously you want to have something that's breathable. Yeah, I really like the lightest you've okay, got that's so going to protect me. That's Harvest. Yeah, it's got all the protection, elbow guards, shoulder guards, back guards, yeah. and it's breathable. Yeah, okay. It's got your mesh netting on there. Okay. And that, that says ladies though. But does that matter? No, not? that's just the coat hanger they're using. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's a large. Andy, you've been a true gentleman. Thanks no so problems. much for your hospitality. You're a legend. Pleasure. You are. And your dealership is awesome. Yes. What's, what's the name of it? Planet Honda Motorcycles. Planet Honda Motorcycles. Can't recommend it enough. Thanks. All right. See you, mate. Be good. Take care. Bye. A Andy wanted to give me everything for free. I said, no, I'm paying full price. Small business. Nothing's for free. you got to pay. This lady just took a photo of me. So I'm being responsible, I bought a jacket for on the way home because I just always have a bad feeling when I ride home because I think it's been such a safe trip. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push super hard, I'm gonna do 16 hour days and I'm gonna try and do this ride in four days. So I've got a jacket to wear. says if I just ride straight from here, I'll be home in 39 hours. That's doable. I can do that, because I can do anything. I need a service station badly. The thing's been flashing for 40 k's. I'm gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> and I just cannot find a servo. And I don't wanna turn off this highway either. Servo. All good. Feel really good and refreshed today. Just pulling into Kunderan, I've just knocked off a quick 200 k's from Perth. No drama at all. Bike feels good. I can have a bit more speed because I haven't got Parry with me. I'm not going to muck around, I'm just heading straight home. I'll tell you what's weird, I was filling up here yesterday and that guy. Was sitting in the exact same spot on his phone. I wonder if he's moved. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he doesn't know it. Fuel, drink, a snack in under five minutes. Back on the road. I lost my red jacket. Not the back, but anyway. So I'm at Calabaran. Need a computer mouse because I lost mine. Flew out the bag. Anyway, it's just part of travelling, and I'm going to get a coffee. Um, going pretty hard. How good's that? Just bought a computer mouse in under two minutes in Calabaran. Who would have thought you can buy computer stuff? But you can. How good's this? Eating healthy. Good latte. Travelling. Doesn't get any better. Okay, it's hot. Temperature is. Oh. 42 degrees, so 42 I'm riding in, but I'm not going to whinge. I'm just going to ride through it and push on.
Meriden, 310 k's out of Perth. Grab some water, a quick fill up, and keep going. I'm riding in 42 degree heat. It's it's hot, but I'm not going to whinge about it. But it is hot. So I've got a new Rolex, but the people back in Geneva that make these Rolexes, I just want to tell you something. You need to test these in the Australian heat because the Rolex band and the metal is burning my arm. It's like burning me. So you need to test the Rolexes in the Australian Outback on a monkey bike in 42, 43 degree heat, which is about 110, 115 Fahrenheit because it's not very comfortable, just saying. I've had to have had to cool my Rolex down. You won't see that every day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many Ks I can get out of a tank. I'm going to set the trip computer to zero and I'm going to run it dry. I've got some fuel there. Let's see how many Ks we can get out of a tank of a monkey bike. Control made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the days pass and now it's so long ago. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. Traffic. It's 44 degree heat. Fucking dickheads. Wonder if there's a camera watching me. I sometimes think there's a guy there watching everyone going, oh, we'll make this bastard suffer. So if there is a camera, mate, get that fucking up here. Before I collapse and pass out and die, It'll be a two minute stop. Let's have a quick look at the monkey bike while I'm waiting here. That chain looks awesome. It's even got grease on it, that's pretty cool. Back tyres. They're definitely getting low, I bet they'll be fine. Oil. Yep, I can. I don't know the exact level, I don't know how important the exact level is, but there's oil in there and I think that's the main thing. The weather looks pretty ominous! So we'll see how far we get on the reserve, like whether it be 30Ks, 50Ks or 60Ks, and then I'll see how much we get per tank. I just want to let you know, um, I've had that 
That's cruise control. I am not conservatively riding this. It is flat out. I'm revving it as hard as I can, going somewhere between 95 and 125 k's an hour, depending on the wind and the slope. So anyway, let's go. Let's see how far we can get on the tank.